firstly for opportunities, we have three available junior coaching roles uh, at a local football club. So we've got one with the Upway men's uh, strength and conditioning role with Upway Tacoma senior men's program. And then we've got two, a recent uh, signing. We signed on Knox Football Club, Melbourne-based uh, local club uh, playing Australian rules football. And they're looking for a junior coach for their men's program as well as their senior women's program. So if that interests you, I'm pretty eager to sign up and find that right person as quickly as possible. So if you're interested, please email me at jack at preparelikeapro.com as, um, uh, as I mentioned, eager to get someone on board in that program as quickly as possible, but also want to find the right fit as well for the club. So if you're interested, email me, jack at preparelikeapro.com and we'll have a quick chat. I'm going to shortlist down to two to three coaches of who I think are, is most qualified and the best fit for the club to represent Prepare Like a Pro, and then the club, either president or head coach of either program, will uh, catch up with that practitioner or uh, have a chat over the phone and make the final decision. So we're looking to sign that person up by the middle of November. It's This podcast is released on the 13th, so I'm going to give everyone a week uh, to get your submissions through and really looking forward to finalising our team for Prepare Like a Pro. I've got a favour to ask any listeners of the podcast. I'll be looking to um, organise some collaborative events and I've listed four different topics that I'd like to uh, host and they are a combat, so working with um, either rugby experienced or um, Taekwondo, MMA, anyone that's come from a wrestling background that have worked in elite sports. So hosting some uh, practitioners that have worked in rugby and mainly Australian rules football from a combat point of view. So their roles that were quite popular before COVID, unfortunately due to football departments being reduced since the pandemic, um, they haven't been able to um, finance these type of roles. So no doubt they're coming back over the next couple of years. So I thought it'd be a good time to share the skill sets of those coaches in Melbourne so that's the topic I'm pretty eager to book in velocity based training hot topic has been for the last few years um, so if you're interested in velocity based training you think that would be a good collaborative event to do let me know uh, tempo versus maximum aerobic speed prescription seems to be a pretty hot topic at the moment so that's a, a collaborative event that I'd be pretty eager to to host and then the coordinative based movements so Franz Bosch and his team are coming here at the end of the year and uh, I'd love to have uh, a few of his practitioners on uh, to discuss how coordinative based movements can assist the traditional strength conditioning program for field-based athletes. So let me know either through our socials or via email which of those four that you'd be most interested in listening to. And uh, I'll do my best to reach out to guests that specialise in those areas and book it in for December. And then uh, as they're all hot topics, I'll, I'll fit in the next three for next year. Um, from February onwards. An update for this week, we have Kelvin Giles, as I mentioned, his blog post on an athlete development model. So make sure to check that out uh, for our November monthly blog post. This week's podcast, we have Nick Kane, the head physiotherapist at SM Football Club on at 4.30 p.m. Our interview with Tyson Popplestein will be published on our podcast on Wednesday. And on Sunday, our bite-sized episode with Ben Parker, the dietitian of the Gold Coast Suns, will be released. So if you're interested in uh, working um, or developing, sorry, your nutrition uh, to either gain muscle mass, maintain your body weight and work on recovery, optimize your recovery, or you want to reduce your body fat, Ben provides a huge amount of practical tips around recipes and, and his methods um, with the Gold Coast Suns athletes. So make sure to tune in this Sunday. And if you like the bite size and listen to the whole episode, and then we've got our power tip this week. Really simple one for anyone that listens to the podcast, which if you're listening to this in the podcasting world, uh, a tip that was provided to me that's massively uh, increased the efficiency of listening to podcasts is changing the setting to 1.2 times. For some um, that have been doing that for a while, they've actually upgraded that to uh, 1.5 um, in terms of how far the speed that you listen to that content. Um, 1.2 I find is a sweet spot where I can still obviously understand what they're saying. 1.5 I find way too fast and it seems to um, turn the words to gibberish for, for, for my listening at, at this time, but hopefully in a year's time, maybe I can 
find it coherent at 1.5 times. But if you're listening to podcasts at one time, um, try it at 1.2 and see how it goes. I think it's a massive time saver and it's actually a lot more engaging by speeding up the uh, audio. So have a go. Let me know what you think. And for anyone interested in joining our strength conditioning program, make sure to head over to propellacapro.com where you have a free 14-day trial. I'll see you guys on the next Prepare Like a Pro live chat show. Thanks for tuning in.